Thanks, Amy. Now to the latest on our big story this morning. Mark Keith Lloyd captured the man accused of shooting and killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend and later killing Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton was taken in last night after being found in an abandoned home, a home just a couple miles away from where police say he'd carried out his crime spree over the last several weeks. Right now, the accused murderer is at ORMC after suffering injuries during his arrest, but his next stop will be the Orange County Jail. We have live team coverage this morning, starting with Mark Lehman at the hospital. And Mark, we were on the air last night at 7 when that news came in from Orlando PD that after even several hours, he is still in the hospital. Yeah, Bridget, right now we're looking at about seven hours since he was taken here for treatment from injuries he sustained uh, during arrest. That's according to Orlando Police. And in that span, we've been seeing several officers coming and going here from the emergency room at the Orlando Regional Medical Center. It's been a very long and emotional night for them. Lloyd being brought here in the very same handcuffs of the officer he's accused of killing. Now, take a look at some video here. Uh, this is what the scene was after a, a manhunt spanning uh, nine long days. This was the moment hundreds of officers have been waiting for as Marky Floyd was brought to the Orlando Police Department. Floyd only saying he'd been beaten through his swollen and bloody lips. Orlando Police Chief John Mina says the injuries came as a result of the accused murderer resisting arrest. Police say Lloyd was found at an abandoned home in Carver Shores. He was armed and wearing body armor. And after emerging from OPD headquarters, Lloyd was heavily bandaged, again saying that he was beaten as he was taken to the hospital. Sheriff Jerry Deming says uh, it was a relief to have him off the streets and that very very same words coming from uh, Orlando Police J Chief John Mina as well. And as we come back out here live this morning, at this point, it's believed that Lloyd remains in the emergency room. When he's released, he'll be taken to jail where he's facing two counts of first-degree murder along with several other charges. We're going to be staying out here this morning, keeping an eye on things out here, and we'll let you know the very moment he's taken to the Orange County Jail. Make sure to keep you updated right here on News 6, Justin. Mark, thanks. And last night's arrest happened at a home on Lescott Lane. That's right off Raleigh Street. And it's less than five miles away from where Lieutenant Clayton was shot and killed last Monday. Police have spent much of the night searching that house, looking for clues into exactly what Mark Keith Lloyd has been doing for the last several days. But this morning, investigators say he was armed and ready for a fight when he was finally tracked down. Sashel Saunders continues our team coverage from the Orange County Jail, where Lloyd will eventually be taken. And Sashel, police say Lloyd had some serious firepower. Yes, Justin, we're talking about a Glock with a 100 round clip as well as another gun and body armor. Lloyd was ready, but when he saw that wall of guns pointing back at him, it was another story. Investigators thought fugitive Mark Heath Lloyd wouldn't go down without a fight, so they met him dozen strong at an abandoned home where he was hiding on Lescott Lane. That's just blocks from Lieutenant Deborah Clayton's grandmother's home. Clayton's nephew was in shock. To me, it's unbelievable just seeing just how close he actually was to all of us. Um, and like, it's just unbelievable he's right here. It wasn't a tip, but police work that ultimately helped investigators close in on Lloyd. They spotted him at the home. Lloyd tried to sneak through a back door. No luck. When he came through the front door, dozens of officers were waiting, guns drawn. Chief Mina says Lloyd backed down and dropped his own weapons. I'm sure she'll be happy. She'll be happy that a guy like that is no longer on the streets. It didn't end there. Officers say Lloyd tried resisting arrest when approached, was even wearing body armor just in case, but they got him and then used Lieutenant Clayton's handcuffs to secure him. Now we are waiting here at the Orange County Jail where Markeith Lloyd will be brought back at any minute. He'll be coming right here through these doors uh, behind me. Another thing we learned last night, besides the fact that Lloyd grew up in the neighborhood, he also knew the Clayton family uh, from his time growing up in the neighborhood. That neighborhood was celebrating last night, saying that they finally could feel safe. Reporting live at the Orange County Jail, Sashel Saunders, News 6.